For almost a decade, the sound of footsteps down the spiraling staircase have been silenced. The sight of kitchen staff replaced by caution tape. The smell of family dinners overcome by the stench of rot. This mansion was destined to be condemned and destroyed had any more years pass, and had Timothy Fussell not said yes to taking a look when it finally went up for sale. I can't even describe how saddening it was to my spirit to walk into this house. These are pictures taken just before that day and shortly after Hurricane Matthew poured 20 inches of rain inside. At that point, the 40,000-pound roof was severely sagging in, and dangerous mold made it mandatory to wear a mask inside. So naturally, despite the conditions and the almost $400,000 price tag for all 8,000 square feet of decay, Timothy Fussell bought it. The first time I drove my mom up out front, and she looked over, I said, Mother, I just bought that house. And she says, the whole thing? It will be the Balding Brothers' job to handle the year-long rehabilitation. His directive to me was, here's the original plans, put it back as close to you can. It will be Timothy's job to recreate a piece of lost history while still making it one of his homes. There's a lot about this family that's worth preserving and saving in this community. The Hargrove Bellamy House became a home to Hargrove and Sarah Bellamy in 1928, though the exact date is still up for debate. But that name should sound familiar. Hargrove was the grandson of John Bellamy, who built the Bellamy Museum, and Hargrove's dad was the only child born in the mansion. Wilmington's small version of the Vanderbilt. It later became a bed and breakfast, much to the current owner's dismay. When you get into commercializing a home like this, and I'm just going to say, and the awful carpets and wallpapers and things people start using, it's like a clown lived here. When the business failed, the house was handed over to the bank and sat empty with only vagrants and vandals taking residence. Walking through, I think everyone when they first walked through here was surprised at the, the level of neglect and, and how far along it was able to get before someone was asked to step in and do something about it. Armed with the original blueprints of the building, Timothy, Nick, and a small army of contractors have their work cut out for them. Minus the addition of modern appliances, the house will be reconstructed back to life based on Hargrove and Sarah's instructions. We're building resorts in other places. We're building shopping centers in other places. That's not what should be here. This house should be here. All historic homes are an investment, for many, made for quick future financial gain. But for a few, and thankfully for the Hargrove Bellamy House, it's made for the restoration of a masterpiece and for the owner's role of good steward to Wilmington's history.